Hello everyone and welcome <clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me brunch edition. I'm going to brunch with Shanice and I just wanted to do like a full get ready with me. I wanted to show you guys my hair, my makeup, no, my skincare, my hair, my makeup, and my outfit. Like the triple, the triple, I was going to say triple threat, it is four. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys like the full get ready with me because I want to get cute and I feel like you guys would like this kind of content. Oh, you know, blah, 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 blah. So let's just get right into it, okay? Period. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Turn on your post notifications, all that fun stuff. I love you guys, and let's just get straight into them. Okay, so I literally just got out the shower, which is why my hair is a little bit wet and just kind of crazy. I want to do some skincare before I moisturize my body. My skin has just been, um, I've been having like breakouts. Like I had a really bad pimple right here, and then I had another one right on my eyebrow. I don't know what's the cause of this. Um, I think they're stress, I think it's stress acne, but <laughs> my first little step in my skincare routine is some hyaluronic acid. I'm going to be going in with this one from The Ordinary. This is like my skincare for before I do makeup. So it's different than my nighttime skincare routine and it's kind of different than if I weren't putting any makeup on, I'd probably be putting on a lot more products. I don't like to load up my skin too much um, with a bunch of products underneath my makeup because I feel like at that point I might have some makeup shifting or just it won't last as long because I've used a lot of like very hydrating and oily products for my skincare because I have dry skin so I try to keep it you know still like the necessary steps but not as extensive as my other skincare routines my lips are so dry, I need to go on my lip gloss now. Like, I, I literally can't. This is from Fenty. It's the clear gloss bomb. Literally my favorite, one of my favorite glosses. So good. Yeah, I needed that so bad. Like, I was looking very dry. <laughs> um, next, I'm gonna go on with a serum. This is from Sunday Riley. It's their A plus high dose retinoid serum. I really, really, really like this stuff. You know, just, just enough. Ooh. There are more serums that I typically put on, especially when I'm going to sleep, so I'm gonna skip over those. <laughs> I'm gonna go straight to moisturizer from QMS Medi Cosmetics. It is a day and night cream. She's really thick, but she's so hydrating. Oh my gosh, I lather my face in this in the nighttime. You always make sure to get your neck. <sighs> your forehead, behind your ears. Under the makeup, it just be doing what it need to do, y'all know. I'm gonna go in with an SPF for the last little step. This is from Super Goop. It's the Unseen Sunscreen. This is an SPF, it has SPF 40, but it's also a primer. Yeah, when I squeeze it out, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's literally clear. So, I love it. I, I, I'm obsessed. This is something that I put on every single day because it's very sunny in California and I don't want, you know, to have any kind of sun damage. So I love that it doesn't have that weird white cast that, you know, most sunscreens do or even primers. They still kind of have a weird color. This is literally clear. Like there's no, there's no, no weird tint. It's SPF 40. It's water and sweat resistant and it's very smoothing too. Like it just feels really nice. Okay, period. So that's the skin. I want to actually do my hair so that my hair can dry before I do my makeup. So let's get into this hair. Okay, so for my hair, I have a wig on, obviously. Y'all thought this was my inches. I mean, they kind of look like they do it all. <laughs> this hair is so freaking pretty. It's from Ali Pro Hair. It's 24 inches, deep wave curly hair. I've, I've honestly, I've discovered that deep wave hair, curly hair is my favorite texture. It's just so natural. Like even when it gets frizzy, even when it gets messy, it doesn't look perfect. It still looks so effortless. Curly hair will literally always be that for me, okay? So in order to just, I need to revive these curls, obviously, like I was sleeping on them. I kind of just twisted my hair up and put it in a bonnet. So, you know, it got, it has some weird little dents in it and whatnot. I'm gonna take some water in a spray bottle and I just literally spray 
my hair all the way down literally and this hair like it um it reacts so well to water and to mousse like i don't even really be putting a lot of product in it to define the curls because it's not necessary like i'm just gonna keep spraying and i'm like finger caught finger detangling as i'm spraying it with water i also didn't like put like a super defined part in this wig because i was kind of going for like a flip over method yeah that's literally that was just water like literally that was just water <laughs> it's the hair texture for me going like this and like getting the water up in there you see oh and she's just like she's honestly i'm gonna take some of the lada body mousse and i like to use this to define the curls more because you know we need that it smells like coconut it just smells good it makes the hair smell good it makes the hair look good and it has some shine to it honey i'm so mad you guys because i lost my um the brush that i used to do my baby hairs my edge brush it's a toothbrush and i cannot find it like i literally can't find it and i'm so frustrated you see the curls do you do you mm. 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 i know the video for this hair is going to be going up before um this video so you guys will probably have already seen and gotten the hair details but i'll have it down in the description box below for you guys period throw that to the back i'm gonna take the same lot of body i usually pump it on the back of my hand like this and then i take um an edge brush this is not the one that i want to use i want my toothbrush but we just gonna have to make it work you know and I'm going to lay my edges. Lay my edges. I got to do this before I do my makeup. So that they can kind of just like set in place. But yeah, you literally just got to do your baby hairs until you like them. I think everyone has a different taste for their edges. I like a very soupity soup soup, you know, like I have an elastic band that I tied to like kind of make it a headband. So I take it off and put it on. I usually wear this. I have a couple of them. Put one on while I do my makeup. Tuck my hair behind my ears. Oh, period. Now we just need to get into this makeup. So let's get into the makeup. Okay, so uh, skincare is on, obviously. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. Absolutely love this stuff. I'm gonna apply this. This also just helps with the longevity of my makeup. Like I feel like when I don't use this primer, my makeup definitely starts to shift around my nose because that's typically where I get oily or on my the center of my forehead. Next, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. The one I'm using today is from Benefit Cosmetics. It's the Hello Happy Foundation Stick. I have it in the shade six. And I'm gonna apply this along my jaw, like right under where my contour goes. Apply it there. I'm gonna apply it on my forehead. I'm gonna apply it right here, like right in between where my contour and my highlight is gonna go. And then I apply it around the corners of my mouth. Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the Truffle. Absolute fade to contour. And I apply this right where I'm gonna contour my cheeks along my jaw. And I'm gonna apply it right on my forehead sides of my nose down my bridge and I do like a little right here so I can lift my nose up a little bit or I like lift because I like a nice full pout <laughs> and then I'm gonna go on with my concealer this concealer is from Pat McGrath this concealer is so bomb she's full coverage but so creamy and so blendable like it's literally so 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 good yeah when i do my concealer i just keep it towards the the bridge of my nose the sides of my nose because i want to 
help contour that area and then lift the outer corners of my eyes. You know, everybody's doing their makeup like that because of TikTok girls. They was showing on TikTok. And then the last concealer that I use is from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way um, Sculpting Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have it in the shade Golden Beige. One, two, and then one, two. Right in the center. It's a lit, it's like slightly lighter, you know? It's like my highlighting shade. So you guys can just watch me blend. <laughs> I'm actually so excited to go to brunch because it's been a minute since I've had brunch food. I kind of don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna wear. Like I'm still thinking about it currently as I'm talking to you about it because I'm like, do I want to wear like a dress, pants? I know I want to wear heels, especially since my toes are so cute. They're done. This pimple, she just like won't let me be great. And I never get pimples like that. Like I get acne like in the center of my forehead, along my eyebrows. I'll get it sometimes or like by my chin. But I don't normally just get one di directly in the center of my cheek like that. Like that's so random and it was so big and it hurt. <laughs> don't do what I do, but like I was picking at it. Cause I wanted it to go away and then I was putting a bunch of stuff on it. I wasn't picking at it at first. I honestly wasn't. I was putting a bunch of stuff on it and it wasn't going away. And then I was like, no, this, she gotta get popped. <laughs> she gotta get pooped. Cause right now she got her own little zip code on my face and we not gonna do that. I'm like, what is this? And they're both on the same side of my face too. Look at the blend though. It's giving honey. Okay, period. So yeah, um, I worked out four times this week. Um, I feel like brunch should be like a celebratory meal. <laughs> I'm just trying to say like, I'm trying to order whatever I want. <laughs> I don't want to be on my healthy timing. I want chicken and waffles. I want mimosas or peach bellinis, freaking tequila sunrise, something like, I'm like, <laughs> I want to drink. I want to get a daytime drunk. <laughs> okay, look at how I'm about to snatch my nose. Y'all see this? Hold on. I'm trying to, I want to blend it out as much as possible because I don't want there to be any harsh lines. You guys, where are the months going? I want to know where April went. Was it not just April 1st? Was it, was it not just April 1st? Like, April Fool's, like, where, where is the month going? Okay. Now, my Fenty Beauty um, Instant Retouch Powder in the shade Banana. <sighs> and I'm just setting all of my highlighted areas, so all the areas that I had the concealer. And then I do like to take some of the powder and put it right under my contour. Not too much, but like I do like to lightly bake. <sighs> I just feel like it's snatching my face in. I have such a round face, so I really do like, you know. <sighs> then I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Ah, this bronzer is so cute. Like, she real cute. And I'm going to bronze in all the areas that I contour, just setting. I take a smaller little angled brush and I do my nose contour with this. Too much. From that event, it's real hectic in here. When I do some blush and I bring it all the way up, damn near into my hairline. So as you guys know, I um, do brow lamination on my brows. I do it myself. I just love, 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 love the way it makes my brows look. It makes them more manageable. Um, it makes them look fuller. My eyebrows are looking crazy when they're like growing in. Ooh, it's the the brow for me. I know what I'm gonna wear. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> I just remember I had something in my closet that I I didn't wear. And then I'm gonna go in with their 24 hour brow setter. This is just the mini one. 
Um, my full size ran out and I know I have another one in here, but child, I cannot find it anywhere. Look at my brows though, they look mad good. Like damn, shorty, zia mama. What do I wanna do with my eyes? I wanna do like a little smoky, little smoky smoky. So for my eyes, I'm gonna go on with this um, cream eyeshadow base from Maven Beauty. This is in the shade Brulee. And sometimes I'll be doing no eyeshadow, but today I wanna do like a little smoky something. I'm gonna go in with my Natasha Denona palette. This is the mini nude palette. And I'm gonna take this peachy shade here and I'm just gonna apply this in my crease. It's kind of like the same color as the base, so this is really just a transitional color. Then I'm gonna take a flatter brush and the really dark shade. Like, softly diffuse it. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the darker shade and kind of just press it over. I'm gonna do some mascara. This is the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara and cause I'm black, I absolutely love the brush on this. I'm gonna do a really simple coat. I'm going go in with Extra Hot Lashes from Destiny Shop. I literally said I want to be extra, like, I want to be extra. Ah, these lashes are really everything. Like, I'm not even saying that because it's my lash brand. Like, on everything, when I sourced these, I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's what you're gonna do? Oh my God. Like, literally so freaking bomb. I think I'm gonna keep my lip nude because I'm basic and boring. <laughs> A little bit of this powder foundation from Benefit as well. It's the Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation in the shade five and a brush and I just like to kind of set the areas on my face that didn't get set with the setting powder or the, um, the bronzer with my Fix Plus. And then I take my sponge, the flat side, this is a real technique sponge. And I just press everything in. And then for highlight, I use my Fenty Beauty. What is this? How many carrots? Diamond Bomb. Yeah, too, oh, that was kind of a lot. I wasn't even trying to do all that, but okay. Okay, Miss Mamas. Okay, Miss Mamas. It's the glue not wanting to dry for me. What the hell? Right on the tip. I'm gonna do cork lip liner. <laughs> Literally. And I want to do a gloss. For my lip gloss, I'm going to be using this Dose of Colors lip gloss in Honey, I'm Home. I'm going to put on my sticky, sticky, sticky lip gloss from, from MAC. This is the completed makeup and hair and stuff, but I'm about to go get dressed and I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and my hair and everything all put together. So let's go do that. Okay, so I got dressed. I have on my outfit. I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror, but I wanted to let you know that I'm putting on my perfume. The perfume I'm wearing today is from a Replica. This is a beach walk. So I'm gonna... Let me show you guys. So I have on this one piece like bodysuit jumpsuit situation that I got from Glam by KS Fashion. I'll link their Instagram down below, but this is literally so cute. Got this from like a little boutique in downtown LA. 
it's like a cream color. I have my Gucci purse and I have it like on the little short chain, like I wrapped it around on the inside. So I just felt like this bag really went with the outfit, obviously. And then I have on my clear mules. These are from Zara. I have on a little anklet that I'm always wearing that's from Laced by Tanaya. Like, honey. It's really the waist for me. Ah! No, but seriously, love my outfit so much. It's so freaking cute. I haven't taken any pictures in this, so I'm gonna take all the photos that I need because, honey, it's time. Um, I was thinking I was gonna do a jacket, but I don't think I need to, honestly. And then for accessories, you know, I'm just wearing my normal a jasmine chain, and I'm gonna wear these shades. Like, I feel like they just complete the look. My hair is still a little damp, but. Period. <laughs> we at brunch like, yes, another peach bellini, please. Another Moscow meal, please. Yes, I, I would like a glass of rosé as well. Oh, and the chicken and waffles, please. <laughs> that is my outfit. This is the completed look. I think I need a little bit of body lava. Yeah, that's doing it for me, for sure. It's doing it for me, like, I, huh? What? <laughs> Girl, what? Like, oh, the glam is it for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. I love you guys so much, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications, hit the subscribe button, all that fun stuff. I've uploaded three times a week. Don't forget, you're a bad bitch, you're smart, you're beautiful, and people love you. I love you and I can't wait to see you at my next upload.